If you've watched Game Theory or Cinema Sins or a vast majority of other people on YouTube, you might have seen things for Nature Box. So I end up going through the, uh, the, the process of getting to 10 bucks for like a, 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 your initial box. And it came with peanut butter and jelly granola, poppy seed sticks. I actually went with a surprise gift, so they gave me two of them. Oh, apple pie oat clusters, cranberry almond bites, and South Pacific plantains. So I'm going to actually go through each of these individually and try to review them pretty quickly. The South Pacific plantains, I'll give you your ingredients. Plantains, awesome version of banana, non-hydrogenated vegetable oil. This is palm oil. If you don't know what palm oil is, if you take the actual palm fruit and go through the process called fractionization, normally this is done through temperature adjustments, you will have the palm sterine portion, which is your, your more solid portion, palm oil, which is your more liquid portion. This source is entirely relative. You know, the palm sterine portion is more solid, is solid in temperature, the palm oil portion does have some solids at room temperature, so it's a pretty decent frying medium. And sea salt. Essentially, think like a potato chip, because it has that sort of, I mean, a thick potato chip has a sort of taste, a sort of texture to it. And also think of a somewhat similar nutritional fact to it. You know, you're looking at, this is for 28 grams, you get five servings in this bag. Like 160 for calories, 10 fat, 4 saturated, no cholesterol. 120 milligrams of sodium, 18 carbohydrate, 2 fiber, 2 sugar, less than 1 gram of protein. So, this one, potato chip. Not bad, pretty good. You know, kind of enjoyed that one. Cranberry almond bites. Um, this one is, this one is, it's a, it is kind of a bit of a puffed rice with like the rice crispiness to it. A bit of a almond crunch to it, a little bit of fruit added to it. You know, this one actually is, it's kind of like like a granola in a way. There's another company that actually makes something pretty similar to this, where they make it in a, in a bite-sized chunk. Not bad. Again, this one actually made probably a pretty decent sort of like, like cereal topping, or if you were to break it up a little bit more, add it to a yogurt. Decent. It's a third of a cup, so four servings in this bag. 150 calories, nine fat. One sat, zero cholesterol, 40 milligrams sodium, 15 carbohydrate, two fiber, eight sugar, and four grams of protein. You oven baked almond, almonds, cane sugar, rice syrup, so there's your two, two of your current sugar forms, dried cranberries, crispy rice, that's what gives it more of that kind of like a, like a puffy texture to it, brown rice, white rice, palm oil, natural flavors, sea salt, and guar gum. Guar gum is essentially more kind of help hold everything together, more or less. Not bad, decent flavor, nice crunch, good texture. This is one I could probably see ordering again, since they've gone from doing just the box to getting things individually. That one, actually pretty good. Apple pie oat clusters. Six servings in the bag. I mean, three and a half servings in the bag, six pieces. Calories, 130. Fat, six. Sat, two. Again, zero cholesterol. 60 milligrams sodium, 18 carbohydrates, 2 fiber, 10 sugar, 2, yeah, two fiber, 10 sugar, 2 <clears throat> protein. And you're probably thinking, the first thing on there is apple pie oat clusters. First ingredient, raisins. And then brown rice syrup, sugar, oats, almonds, coconut, malted wheat flakes, water, Canola oil. Now, what's one thing you might not might have noticed so far that I haven't hit yet? So, canola oil, that's to help you get to essentially your of your binder. Sesame seeds, apples. Soy lecithin, that's an emulsifier to help hold everything together. Natural flavor, cinnamon, vanilla extract, baking soda, and salt malt extract. This one, kind of a letdown. I'll be honest, this is very much a letdown, because there's so much in the way of everything else that's not apple. When I think apple pie, I'm thinking someone's going to have more of a more of a crust to it and a decent amount of apple. The cinnamon, good, nice texture. The apple is so not prevalent. This is almost like raisin. They might as well have taken on the phrase apple pie, and it's called like raisin pie oat clusters with apple. Very little apple. Kind of disappointed. I was hoping for a lot more of like the apple flavor to it, but it's just not really there. 
poppy seed sticks. I actually really like these. Nice crunch, good texture, nice flavor. You really do get, these are actually considered sesame, sesame sticks with poppy seeds. So you get that nice sesame flavor, that nice smoky note, those nice uh, poppy seed notes. This is a great one. Oh, the nutritional facts. You get four and a half servings in this container. So, so about the size of my hand, and you get four and a half servings. 160 calories per serving, nine fat, half a gram saturated fat, 230 milligrams sodium, 16 carbohydrates, one fiber, three protein. It says unbleached wheat flour, non-GMO expeller pressed canola oil, sesame seeds, poppy seeds, onion powder, salt, and turmeric. This one, I'll be honest, this one was actually really good. This has got a great amount of flavor to it. I get my thinking, you take something kind of like this, if you wanted to, it already has enough ingredients that kind of have a Mediterranean flair to it, make something kind of almost like a, like a little more flavorful like tzatziki. You know, you throw maybe a little bit of cilantro to give a whole different twist to your tzatziki. Toss it with some, put some of this like your, uh, your, your, your stick for that as your, deep, your dipping medium. It's actually pretty good. This one, I actually really enjoyed. I thought I got two bags of this one. I got, thank you for that one. And then finally, peanut butter and jelly granola. Peanut butter granola, dried fruit. Two and a half servings per container. 240 calories per serving. 11 grams fat, one and a half grams saturated fat, 40, grams, 40 milligrams of sodium, 32 carbohydrates, four fiber, 15 sugar, seven protein. Might sound kind of bad, but with peanut butter, you tend to have a pretty high amount of fat you know, because it's, it's a nut. So a pretty high amount of fat, you've got a small, you got some fiber, and you do have some protein. But normally the highest component tends to be fat. Here we go. Honey. So we have the sugar. Oats. Natural peanut butter. This kind of turned me off. Natural peanut butter then has its ingredient deck. Roasted peanuts, sugar, palm oil, and salt. When I buy peanut butter, it normally has two ingredients. Peanuts, salt. That's it. I'm well aware of the fact that you would add palm as well as your oil stabilizer. If you ever bought natural peanut butter, you'll notice that the oil itself actually does separate. You know, peanut by itself does not have a really great emulsion capabilities. That's why if you buy a reduced, uh, reduced fat one, normally it will have an emulsifier added to it to help actually bind the, uh, the oil molecule better. So I do understand using the palm oil to actually prevent the amount of weeping you could see from peanut butter. The problem, however, is that they are still a new company. The peanut butter have a, had a slight rancid flavor to it. I actually am in the field of food science, so I do taste things a lot, very often, that are kind of rancid. You can tell that some of that will get mellowed out with the supply chain. Or it could have just been that whoever they got their peanut butter from might have had issues when they came to the store and their palm oil. But we'll keep on going. Chopped peanuts. Well, that's good. Raisins. Again, it's raisins. Oat bran. Strawberries. Now, of course, here's what this is this is a dried strawberry, so your strawberries, strawberries, sucrose sugar, citric acid, natural flavor, medium chain triglyceride oil. I know it sounds really bad, but if you ever hear people talk about how awesome coconut oil is, coconut is very high in MCTs, which is medium chain triglycerides. Flax, and canola oil. This one, again, kind of disappointing. Very heavy on the peanut butter flavor, very light on the jelly flavor. You get a little bit every now and then with the, the raisins, and I think this whole bag had maybe two, three pieces of the actual uh, strawberries themselves. I'm aware dried strawberries are stupid expensive. But I found myself going, you know, if I'm going to have peanut butter and jelly, I really want to have my favorite jelly, strawberry. When you get a bite, you know, this is like it's in cluster form, you get a bite and it's got the peanut butter and a little bit of the raisin for more of that textural difference. You've got a lot of the, the hard and the crunchy parts, a lot of the softer, chewier parts with the oatmeal, with the oats and the the peanut butter. But then you have that moment where it's almost, it's a little more give it to it. And you're like, oh right, that's strawberry. And it triggers those things in your mind to get think of a really good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Myself, it's peanut butter and strawberry. Some people, peanut butter and, and grape jelly. Which is why you have the raisins to mimic your grapes. You know, and those couple of bites, those were nice. Beyond that, no. People have complained this is actually hard to, to quit. You know, it's a system that you did pay into for a subscription base. I sent an email. You know, they had me fill out a bunch of other forms. They asked me a couple of questions. 
And all in all, you know, not bad. I will say they've recently opened up the uh, Nature Box market, the market or marketplace, where you can get certain things just by themselves as opposed to having to do the actual subscription thing. Ironically, some of the best things you actually get are basis subscription. Now that, that part is kind of a letdown because once I'm really good, I actually have, you know, need subscription to get them. All in all, not bad, depending on what your snacking needs are. You can probably get snacks that are potentially healthier, depending on what your definition of healthier is, at a regular store. You know, I like the concept, I like the idea. I think that some of, the, some of the things they did could have had better execution to them. But all in all, not bad. What I recommend it, depending on your definition of healthy, I could safely say it's worth doing the, the $10 for doing essentially the, the, the quick one month piece. Just kind of get an idea. Okay, you might like some, you might not like others. I found myself liking more of the ones that are essentially, you know, dried carbohydrate snacks. The plantain ones, you know, I thought they thought they tasted great. I like the texture. I really do enjoy plantains because they're more starchier flavor to them. I thought those were really great. Poppy seed sticks, great and unique. I haven't really tasted anything like that currently in the marketplace, and I don't snack very often. If I do, maybe like a piece of like Swiss cheese or, you know, or, or a higher protein thing or like a, a Greek yogurt or whatnot. But those are the ones I actually found to be the most interesting. Some of the other ones that seemed like they should have had more, more oomph to them, just I was not overly impressed with them. 